Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have Alok here with us who has been recently placed at Dell as a summer intern and he's here to talk about his interview experience. So let's look at the eligibility criteria first. All BTEC students with a 70% or a 7 CGPA and no standing arrears were eligible for this role. So let's now go ahead and talk to Alok and understand his experience interviewing for this Hi, Alok. company. Alok, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your internship. Thank you. Would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, okay. So, my name is Alok Kumar Jha. I am from Faridabad, Haryana. Uh, I am a third year uh, third year student in Kit University. Current, uh, currently pursuing uh, my B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering. I am also pursuing a minor degree in uh, Financial Management. Over these three years, I have explored the domains of Machine Learning, Deep Learning and Web Development. But right now, I am only doing BSA. So as for my extracurriculars, uh, I'm part of uh, MLSC Kid chapter as a MLT member. This is a student uh, committee, community, which basically focuses on promoting the tech for all in our campus. And I'll be interning at Dell this upcoming summer. Okay, that's really great. Thank you so much. Uh, you can now tell us about the uh, hiring process for Dell, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Uh, for the rounds, there were actually three rounds. Okay. Uh, like only online test was there, then mm -hmm. a managerial and a managerial and technical, and one HR. Okay. First, we were first we were given the form by our TNP cell uh, by first week of September in two thousand twenty three. Okay. So uh, I guess uh, five hundred to six hundred people filled that based on some criteria that I'm not not aware of. Uh, they shortlisted students. Okay. So around. 130 people were shortlisted okay out they were given the online test uh, links uh, so online test uh, didn't include any co uh, coding contest or uh, something like that mm -hmm. it was purely mcq based mm -hmm. uh, there was aptitude questions score cs questions like os dbms hoops dsa and all mm -hmm. and there was a question in which we were asked which uh, language we are comfortable in like c plus plus or java mm -hmm. so i chose uh, c plus uh, so the qu uh, the questions were MCQs only and they were language specific like uh, okay. asked some like there are mm. something about STL and all nothing right. like uh, major coding question. Okay. Then out of the one thirty students that was uh, selected for online test, fifty five were selected for uh, offline uh, interviews that happened a week after the online test. Okay. Uh, so first uh, they gave us the PPT in which they told us about the company and the role. Hmm. After after that, the uh, technical and managerial round took place. Hmm. Uh, my interview happened like uh, the uh, interviewer first uh, skimmed through my resume. Uh, he asked me certain questions about it. Okay. Then he pinpointed one of my projects hmm. and then he started asking questions about it. Like what was the tech stack? Hmm. Uh, as my uh, project, that project was based on ML. So uh, he asked about the dependencies used, the ML algorithm that I used. Uh, what was my contribution or all. And then uh, he asked about the future scope of the project, like uh, on the spot, what can I think that, where can it be used? So I think he was trying to test my uh, thinking capability or problem solving skills there. Uh, it was like open ended question. Okay. Then he asked some uh, course CS questions such as uh, from OS, he asked uh, semaphores and mm. uh, deadlock certain questions on them. Okay. Then he asked certain DBMS questions like uh, locking, uh, locking uh, techniques and hmm. normalization. Hmm. He has certain uh, SQL queries related to joints and uh, joints and uh, I guess uh, I, I, if I group by. Okay. So certain uh, SQL queries. Hmm. Uh, he also has certain uh, OOPS concepts like what were the what are the pillars of OOPS and how we use C++, uh, OOPS in C++. Hmm. After that, he asked me to write a pseudo code uh, for uh, for a uh, for a question that involved uh, recursion and uh, finding a string, uh, finding if a string is a palindrome or not. Hmm. So I think I made a mistake because I missed the edge case. Hmm. There he asked me to rectify it without uh, giving me any hint. And if uh, as I rectified it without problem, uh, I was selected for a HR round. Okay. Around around twenty people were selected for the HR round. Uh, so in HR round, they basically uh, asked uh, simple questions about uh, ourselves, like introduce ourselves. Uh, to, he asked me to intro uh, introduce myself. Hmm. He asked uh, what were my expectations for the role, uh, what 
uh, what all the positions of responsibility i held what did i learn from them hmm. uh, what i what i did uh, uh, what i did there and also he asked uh, certain basic hr questions like uh, how do i uh, how do how do i read team work what do, do i think about team work and all hmm. so i think i did uh, pretty good in hr because uh, after that we were asked to wait 1 to 2 hour 1 uh, to 2 hours okay uh, after which they announced the results only 11 people were selected and luckily i was one of them okay so this was the uh, this was the process okay. in our batch okay that's that's really great congratulations again and Thank you. do you have any suggestions for your juniors or for any others who are trying for summer internship or anything that you would like to say from your experience uh my biggest uh, suggestion would be don't lie on your resume because it went uh, it went through three processes like mm. first they uh, shortlisted you then mm. they took the technical round then hr round they saw their resume everywhere and they asked questions about it everywhere mm. so if we like we are setting up ourselves for somewhere we will fail right then again i will be uh, i will suggest that we have to be honest in the interviews like mm. if we don't know anything I didn't know one SQL query, so I just told the interviewer I don't know, mm. rather than beating around the bush, mm. because we can't uh, like bullshit them because they are experienced people. They can point out that he, he doesn't know anything. Mm. And my last tip will be like have some decent projects uh, in the resume because uh, uh, there are people who didn't have any uh, project in the resume that sat for interview and they were asked very tough questions. Like, okay. Uh, mm. so uh, i saw i asked the question so they were of cp level like 4 to 5 star mm. and even i couldn't solve it mm. so having project helps okay okay that's really great thank you so much thank you for sharing your experience and for the suggestions and yeah thank you thank you Thank you all for watching. I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more interview experiences.